Have you all watched the episode of Tonight with Jimmy Fallon where our favorite Squid Game stars have appeared? Yes, you heard that right. The Squid Game cast is everywhere. They've even penetrated the famous American talk show. The Squid Game series stars continue popping up on video calls for talk shows and media interviews around the globe for the newly released, critically acclaimed Netflix series based in South Korea. Wee Ha Joon, the Korean actor who plays Wang Jun Ho, aka the police officer in the series, has stated in an interview with Deadline how his life has been turned upside down since the Korean series entered the cultural stratosphere last month. Since debuting in September, the series quickly reached number one on Netflix. I would say the craziest thing that happened to me is having an interview right now with one of the biggest media companies in the world. I also went on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon, which was quite crazy. I'm receiving tons of messages from fans around the world on my social media account. All of these events are really surprising and new to me, and that fills my heart with joy all the time," the Korean actor said. It's no question that each of these characters, real-life stars, have skyrocketed to fame along with the series. Now, in today's video, let's talk about one of the main characters that brought a different color to the series, the person who ushered us into a darker, more depressing, yet revealing take on the Squid Game series as he led us into the actual behind-the-scenes of the games, the police officer Wang Jun Ho. It might have been gloomy to look at the Squid Game's guards who roam the place without faces, but the police officer took us into a dark tour inside their policies, the barracks where they stay after the games, the leveling of their positions that are based on their mask, and how their lives are just as expendable as the players who die in each game. Yet, even though we have tagged along Jun Ho's journey, there are still some details we might have missed. And you might be surprised at what they are. From his failure to put his phone on silent during the hide and seek scene with the front man, to his fate in season two, here is everything you need to know and may have missed about the police officer Jun Ho. But before anything else, let me warn you again for the spoilers coming your way. And of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell first for more updates on this. Now, let the games begin. At this point, Squid Game doesn't need an introduction anymore. The smash hit Korean thriller series is currently sitting atop Netflix list of most watched shows in 94 countries around the globe. But what's even more dumbfounding is that the streaming giant says Squid Game can soon become its most viewed piece of content in any language, ever. Can't help myself waiting for that. One reason why the series has been able to resonate with many viewers beyond the shocking deadly games is the ensemble of undeniably compelling characters. One character, Detective Jun Ho, played by Wee Ha Joon, had his own mission on the other side of the game, investigating the dirty dealings that were behind it and trying to find his missing brother. However, a shocking turn of events in the penultimate episode left his arc feeling unresolved, leaving many to wonder if it's really the end of the road for the top cop with the impressive jawline. Some fans even expressed their hope to see the quote, most handsome face in the Squid Game in its second season. But will he be? Well, for now, all we can do is hope. Let's take a look at some of these details. Number one, Jun Ho's camera shutter is on. It might have been surprising, not to mention pretty unusual, to see a smart cop who just infiltrated the games behind the uniform of one of its guards, forgetting to put his phone on silent. You might have noticed that when Jun Ho was searching the office of the front man for the file archives of the past players and the details and information of every single player who had entered the games, he used his camera several times to capture evidence. However, it might have been noticed that the camera shutter was on. Well, believe it or not, this is not a mistake that went through the post-production edits. For many phones, this sound happens when a device has its ringer on, which could seem odd since he should have had his phone on silent to avoid a sudden alert or notification blowing his cover. But in Korea, you cannot turn off the shutter sounds on phones. This is to help protect people's privacy so they can hear if they're being photographed. Yeah, I know, fun fact. South Korea is another such country where one can't disable shutter sounds on phones with cameras. But unlike Japan, where wireless carriers took a step in Korea, the government itself set a recommendation in 2004 to have phones always make a louder sound than 65 decibels when a photo is taken. This was also done to curb spy shots and boost privacy. 
Now you have to keep that in mind in case you're planning your next South Korea trip. Number 2. Jun Ho actor Wee Ha Jun is actually afraid of water. Now, this is a little mind blowing. You might remember the detective's character swimming right from the island to another island where he tried to get some signal and escape. He did this by using scuba gear that was supposed to be for the actual police officers who would have delivered the smuggled human organs to the awaiting ship nearby. However, the actor who played Jun Ho is apparently good enough that his fear of water did not show at all throughout the scene. The most challenging scene to shoot was the one where I made an underwater escape wearing scuba gear. I haven't mentioned this in interviews, but I have a serious fear of water. It took a lot of time to overcome that fear. I took quite a few swimming lessons to shoot that scene, but I was able to complete it well, so I'm very happy about the outcome, the actor said. <laughs> now that's what you call good acting. Number 3. Jun Ho Never Used a Body Double The real-life character shared that acting behind the mask was one of the most difficult he had ever been through, considering that he needed to ramp up his body movements to replace the satisfaction from facial expressions. If the frontman was revealed to have used a body double throughout the entire series, well, now at least we know that for sure that Jun Ho didn't. The fact I was wearing the mask for the majority of the series was quite challenging particularly the acting underneath the mask. I was going into shooting with a lot of tension. Even if I try hard and perform with my facial expressions and my gaze, it doesn't come through outside of the mask. When I'm acting hard, it doesn't really show well on the screen. I had to make excessive gestures to compensate for the loss of my facial expression and gaze. For example, I would turn my head more dramatically, Wee Ha Jun continued. Number four. The frontman lived despite getting shot on the shoulder, a clue that Jun Ho might have lived too. Although it's impossible to pinpoint the single most dramatic moment in the series, one scene that was undoubtedly pulse racing was that in which Detective Wang Jun Ho was chased by guards and the enigmatic frontman. Despite infiltrating the games and collecting evidence of the old man's sadistic human experience, Jun Ho was ultimately caught by his henchmen and, in a shocking turn of events, the frontman revealed himself to be his long-lost brother, before shooting his younger sibling, plunging him off a cliff. But he only shot his brother on the shoulder, which he had also been shot at. Jun Ho, before the frontman revealed his identity, shot him first on the shoulder, showing that a single shot on that spot isn't fatal. A lot of fans are theorizing that the police just can't die with that kind of wound, but the series hasn't revealed that on its own in the last episode. When it showed the frontman healing with his non-fatal wound in front of the mirror while looking at his reflection and seeing Jun Ho in his place. Well, that's all for today. We hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, make sure to watch our previous videos on Squid Game. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and smash that notification bell for more videos like this.